Hey, this is Al McGee with YETicket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called A Quiet Place, Part 2. Deuce. Well, the director, John Krasinski, and he wrote this too. He starts this film on the first day of what happens when they see a meteorite and things happen in other parts of the world. At first, they don't pay attention to it because they go to a baseball game where he sees his son, who is deaf, getting ready to hit a ball and things like that. The next thing you know, people are running. The reason they're running is because, well, you know those creatures, they're there to kill them. And I'm not telling you anything you already know because you saw the first one, didn't you? You did see it. That's why they made number two. Now in this one, man, it's worse because then it goes from day one to day 400 and some odd number and it, sh and it shows that they're still living, the three kids and the mom. Now you see the Abbots, they have survived, but they still in a particular situation. Remember she had that baby at the end of one. Now she has a baby and her two other kids that she, uh, taken care of. Next thing you know, they're walking, trying to find food and things like that. And if the creature comes after them, wow. Now her young son, he hurts himself. Now they hide in a steel mill and they meet their neighbor, Emmett, which is played by Cillian Murphy. As you see in the first part of the film, he was talking to Lee. And so they're friends, but Emmett, you know, he, you know, he's shocked and still uh, struck because his family is gone. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of food. He wants them to leave, but because the creatures are coming, so they have to stay there in the steel mill, things like that. But Reagan, she thinks of a way to help them get saved. And this is when a lot of the action happens. One thing that I like what John Krasinski, he did in this film, that he brought in scenes that make you jump out of your seat. Yeah, you will. And I did. I really enjoyed that film. In fact, I really enjoyed part two. It's really a good film to watch. But it's not as exciting as the first film because we know who these creatures are. We know what they can do and things like that. And we know the humans, they need to help themselves to survive. And they got to do everything in their power to survive against the creatures, but also other human beings. And we've seen this in other stories before, you know, in other TV shows and other movies too. People don't always work together in these type of situations. They do meet Dijon Hansu. He's there also, and he helps them out to survive. A Quiet Place Part 2 is a very good film to watch, but it is exciting, but not as surprising as the first one because you did not know the creatures. You were not introduced to the danger uh, until the first one. And you, now you know in the second one what the danger is and how to live. But it's still exciting to watch. It's only going to be in movie theaters. So go see it in movie theaters. And that's the only way you can see it. And it's exciting on a big screen. I'm going to give this three palm trees out of four because it's exciting. I enjoyed it. I really did. So A Quiet Place Part 2, I highly recommend it. And go see it for yourself at the movie theater. Hey, I'm Al McGee with yeticket.com. Thanks for watching my review. I really appreciate it. <laughs>